doing? We out here, chilling on the spot. What up? What up? Hey, what's going on, y'all? Brothers Breaking Bread Podcast in the house. Hey, okay, we'll have a little pop up. Have everybody sure. over. It'll be good. Yeah, let's make it happen. Let's not just talk about it. This is a beautiful thing, man. It's all this blackness, and we all just getting together. We playing dominoes, we eating, we drinking. And you know, food is always just the, the extra, man. They deprive these people of their basic human rights. You know, and we call ourselves Americans. We're supposed to be above all this. They'll fake the crisis. They'll make it seem way out of proportion. We brothers, we breaking bread. How y'all doing? We out here, chilling in the spot. What up? Trying to hold it all together, man. Life is moving fast right now, man. So it's good to have everybody come through. I love that, man. I love it a lot more than I could, I could, I could, I could say to you guys. Here we go. Lovecraft Country. So I know uh, 10 meters, you said you have not seen episode 5. No, I've seen it, but I haven't finished it. Haven't finished it. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. So I What part did it. you get to? I got to the part where uh, um, your girl is experimenting with the drug. Well, yeah. Ruby's experimenting with the drug. The little liquid? Oh. Yeah. And shout out to uh, James, who, uh, but also he said he saw hey, the, the preview. Yeah, speaking, yeah, speaking of calling the shot, and and uh, mm-hmm. so, so I, I took my victory lap. I'm sorry you're not here, man. That nigga called two shots. Yeah, he I called would... two shots and sunk him, bro. Damn, <laughs> I know it's one game. Charles and uh, and no, old he, girl? Called, he, he called that. He called. Uh, he, called uh, he called old girl being Ruby. both William and Christine. Yeah. And we, okay. we, we we was mind blown when, we, when he said it. Whoa! You know, you know fight, what? Some Fight Club He's shit. Right. Oh, nigga, hey, see, look, look, see, look, see, look. He's uh, fucking right. Some some Fight oh, Club, shit. some Fight Club shit. Damn, and then uh, Ruby and the, the show, white woman. Nigga, yeah, nigga, he called that shot. You gotta watch it, man. Damn, yeah. that makes uh, fucking it's a lot of shit. Sense now. And then uh, Ruby being uh, gonna wake up as a white woman. Yeah, he called that right. shot too. Uh, okay, that I saw that shit. Called that shot too. Uh, well, the, well, the thing about Ruby waking up as a white woman, that happened in the book. Okay. Right. So I got to ask okay. him if he read the book. He didn't have the knowledge of watching the book. He watched the trailer. And right. just and just off of his knowledge of sci-fi, he came to conclusion that was that was the reasonable, you know, concept. You've read the book, though? Well, no, I didn't read the book. I read. Well, I know about the book. I never read the book, actually. I know about the book, too, but I never but, read it. So, okay, so, um, so book is a bunch of short stories in, interconnected to each other. Yep, okay. and that's each episode is pretty much one of the short stories. I wondered though because James was the person that said that in our chat group. I wonder if niggas has read the book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder because remember he remember he was the one that said, "Oh yeah, this show is a bunch of short stories, and there are characters that interconnect between each short short story." He said that in the chat group. Okay, right. Because in the book, there is no Christina and there is no William. The oh, character yeah. is actually one, one person named Caleb. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. Caleb is the uh, is the son of Adam, but in the in the in the show they made it Christina and William. Yeah. Okay. Right. So those are. Those two are the same person. I ain't gonna lie. I wish I would have called my shot though. I know now it seems like oh you just saying it, but when they when they presented uh, old boy from um, the wire, Omar from the wire and also from the wire, uh-huh. yeah, I was like yeah Montrose, yeah Montrose, and then when they alluded to it in uh, episode four, I believe when they were at the uh, fucking museum, I was right. like man, this nigga about to be fucking somebody. They ain't a woman. But in my mind, I thought about they, it, but... They, they actually alluded to it in episode two. Uh, Where? Nigga, they, they alluded to episode one, because this motherfucker right. who was on the bar stool with old boy that he was fucking. Right. That, that, that was his bar. And so... Well, Montrose you know, was nigga, No, this nigga would always hang out at old boy's bar. 
Montrose, Montrose wasn't, wasn't there. Uh, Not in episode no, one. No, 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 no. He wasn't in the bar, but what I'm saying to you, he was a regular at the bar. That's why Tick went to the well, right, right. uh, so, like yesterday. Well, so, Tick went to the bar looking for him because no, he no. was a regular right. at the bar. I agree. That old boy, he was. I agree. So yeah. I'm saying is it may, but but then it may when it, when old boy in episode four it made me go back and think about that shit in episode well, what happened, in episode what happened one. Four? What, what, oh, with the, with the security guard. No, with when security. Tree, no, when tree when tree said, well, you you ever wonder why him and old boy are so close, or why he wanted you to go out there. Old boy called back to why you think why you think that they told you to go out there and see him then. Basically, what he said. I, I thought like, I thought oh. he apologized for sending him out there. I don't know. Did he apologize, or he just said? I, like, I thought he apologized for sending him out back to to see old boy. No, he didn't, apo- he didn't he apologize. He apologized for doing it. He basically he basically mm. asked him, "Why do you think they so close?" Right. That's what he basically asked him, and I was like, "God damn!" And this is Omar. I'm like, "Damn!" And for me, like in movies and everything, mm. niggas get stereotyped. He's always playing. Niggas get, uh, so, a gay character. So for he's not always playing a gay character. Not always, not always. His, no, most, no. his, most, notable, his, his most notable character, oh, okay. or his most right. notable character, has been a man who's a fucking Robin Hood who happens to be gay. Right. Yeah. And this, yeah. this, this, this looks like it's on his way to becoming the second most notable character. I think. Yeah. So it made me think about it. I was like, God damn, he went out there, old boy, and then that, then that, it made everything they talk about him being close, being there at the bar, always drunk. And like you know, he really ain't got no money, so old boy had to, all this shit was going through my head. Like an old boy owns a bar, and he always there drunk as fuck, and he really ain't got no money. What the fuck really going on? <laughs> That's why. Mm. But I thought about it, but then I then I just like ah, never mind. Go go ahead, Gator. My bad. No, so what when, when episode five came out, I went back to episode one because when we saw the when we first saw the bar on him. He, he, was get, so. he was getting that blowjob. I was like, wait, was that Montrose running away? Nah. But it wasn't Montrose. Wait. Nah, it, it was a real it young cat. It was a real young cat. Yeah. Yeah. That, that motherfucker got out. That's community dick, nigga. Community dick. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing is, though, right. we, we find out, though, it's more than that, though. They actually have a, like, oh, boy, the bar owner. I mean, as we go through the episode of, the, of, the, of the, the this one episode, he really does want... Oh boy, they want a relationship. They, have a relationship. they want he wants a relationship with. They have a relationship. So mom, so we, we you know we come to find out that you know they never kiss and all these things because when he's there with the other, uh, I guess you, I guess at that point in time you call them drag queens or whatever the fuck. And they're like, have you kissed yet or whatever the fuck? And he's like, ah, whatever, shut up. And Montrose kind of just doesn't say anything. He's just sitting there because I, I guess we should fast forward to when that nigga got beat the fuck up. And that bitch said, <laughs> that bitch said, my, my, yeah, my, my he, girl he was Tisha, horrible after that. Nigga. My, my yeah, girl Tisha uh, said, get some ice. And I was like, that nigga need new face. What's ice? He needs surgery. He need some new. He need a new face, nigga. Yeah, he's son be fuck up. No, nah, but but Man. like but like you know, he, ticket been, been holding on, nigga. Tick yeah. was a ticking fucking time bomb. That's what yeah. he was. Yeah, yeah. Cause what was that? Been holding on to some shit, man. What was that episode three? The episode say, yeah, after Georgia died and he was there at uh, yeah. Montrose's house basically, and Montrose yelled at him. I tick was ready to bomb on that nigga there, and he was like, right. "Let me yeah. get the fuck out of here." He, you you could just tell like that, that like, like like Joe was saying that 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 that, that motherfucking bomb was just it, it, it. Well, it was episode five, six, seven. It was gonna go the fuck off, and Montrose gonna get the fuck up, cause Tickman went somewhere and learned. He got them hands, nigga, and he's just younger and yeah. stronger. <laughs> so if you go back to episode one, Tick yeah. talked about the last time he had saw his dad and how they got into a fight and put a hole in the wall. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're right. You're and right. then they see the hole in the wall still there. Yep, 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 yep. yep. <laughs> So, I mean, so we already knew them motherfuckers went at it a couple times. And once yeah. again, though, we talked about it uh, last episode on our show last episode. Like this, this is one. I, I, I love the show because, it's, of course, it's, it's beautifully written. It's smart, <laughs> and who knows how it ends? Maybe it ends like stupidly. We don't know, but it's one of those shows that requires of you to pay attention to every episode because every fucking episode builds yep. upon the next. You, yeah, you'll miss something. And you got, you, you got right. to, it, you got to recall. You got to recall shit. You got to recall shit. You can't be drunk. You can't be fucked up. You can't be like, oh, I'm just going to, I'm going to put this on. You got to be alert in the motherfucker. Well, wait. I, I've watched oh, every episode at least twice like, and sometimes three or four. 
<laughs> yeah, because I had to put, yeah, I had to, um, I was playing five, and then I had to go back because I missed something. And, I, I, and like I said, I haven't finished five. And once again, I would put it out oh, there. We are not an official uh, podcast of this show, or this, no. uh, this, but we just speaking but of our if, enthusiasm if and H- love of the show. If HBO want to send us some money, <laughs> yeah, just go. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, I guess we can kind of hop back. And once again, we don't want to do the whole play by play. Yeah, so episode five, we we come to the scene, but do you know Montrose killed old girl? Right. All this other shit. Um, Yahima was that her name or the Native American yeah, yeah, Hermaphrodite. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Um, and we and then you. This is where we. Yeah, you find that that's where kind of this is like Tick's breaking point because he's mm-hmm. fed up with the shit of his father. Because when they come in that room, and it, mm-hmm. it literally they're literally showing Montrose with the blood on his hands. That they, they, they zoom right. in on that with the camera, blood still on his hands. So the, the next episode literally takes place. We don't know how many hours after he didn't kill this woman. And got rid of the body, whatever he did. I don't know. She's a magical person, so I don't know. Maybe the body just disappears in the air. I don't fucking know. Who knows? Yeah, but the body ain't there. The body ain't there. That's all we know. Neither are the pages. Yep, yep. No, the pages of the books are missing. Yeah. Yeah. So he he got rid of that shit. He burnt it. Yeah, so yeah, he like he burnt the other book. Yeah, so Montrose is like, yeah. she got away, and, and I ain't got the pages. And you can just, Tick's face is like, yeah, uh, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, nigga. You. I know what you did. I know what you done. You did sabotage things. Sabotage Luckily, things. Letty, Letty is taking photos of, of the pages, and yep. so they're able to, uh, you know, okay. produce those photos, and, and he was able to work on learning the language of Adam. Right. But here's what I want to figure out. Mm-hmm. So Letty just watched Tick beat the shit out of Montrose. Mm-hmm. Right? The shit. She, she asked him. This nigga, if I wasn't there, would you have killed him? And he was like, I don't thought about it enough. And and then they and then they fuck. Right. Like who 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 after watching a man almost kill their husband be like, damn, I want I want some of that. It's the, it's that shared trauma. That shared trauma, yeah. yeah. That but relationship with her mama yeah. and all that pizza. Yeah. It's yeah. not it's not, but I, it, it, it's okay. Yes, they had she had a fucked up, flawed relationship with her mother, and so he's got a really bad relationship with his father. Right, nigga, nigga. Hey, father figure, father figure. Father figure. We don't, we don't know. But hold on, but hold on though. They fucked after they didn't just yada 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 the fact that she died, nigga. Right. <laughs> it's like yeah, you died. You came back to life. Uh, give me some pussy. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was at the house party. No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. that, that, that's what I'm saying. I remember that episode that's what I'm saying. three, wasn't it? That, the house party was the yeah. next the next the next episode after she died, and it was just like, yeah, we and she kept saying, We never talked about it, we never dealt with it, all and well he said all this crazy shit to happen. And it's right. like, yeah, water on the bridge, yeah, you dead, but let's have sex in this bathroom. Let's have sex, yeah. Let's fuck yeah, the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, I don't, the, the, the tension I don't know, I don't the sex in the bathroom, I don't think I don't think the sex in the bathroom had anything to do for him. With that, I think but he I was think, just trying to navigate. He was just trying to navigate. Did he want to deepen his contact to her, or did he want to bounce to Florida and get out of this whole yeah, shit? You but know I'm, what talking, saying? I'm talking about. So I don't. I, yeah. I, don't I, I'm I, think about, he, I think. I think he knocked her down, and, and then sex was. And the, the next the day, yeah. yeah. You talking so, about his but standpoint? I'm the next day, they talked at as. She, was doing the research on the house right after she had been arrested because she got arrested after the sex right but i'm she got arrested right. then she found out about the house and she did the research and that's when she told him that was the first time but i'm saying that was I'm, the first time but, but but we didn't deal with the issue of me being dead either that's when she said that too yeah but i'm right. saying yeah once again i'm saying you, you're talking about his standpoint i'm talking about for her though it was thinking i need to be connected with someone because i've been i was dead I need something to make me feel alive again. And but I felt the like they dealt with that in episode four. Episode five, right. episode I don't think that's the issue anymore. Episode right. five for me was this nigga almost beat his father within an inch, within an inch of his life. Right. So, right. so I'm saying... And, so what I'm saying and is vice, she came downstairs and wants a pussy. So I'm saying it's vice versa for him, <laughs> though. But it's vice versa episode, for now for him, though. She, on episode, you ain't got to this part yet. Yeah. But later on in the episode, they have a little heart-to-heart about what it is that they're both looking for and what yeah. they're like. And she's in the bathtub. Right in the bathtub, but Anne ain't got to that part. Yeah, so no, what I'm saying, no, what, I, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, okay. it's vice versa for for it's, it's now he made her feel alive. She was the calming force for him in that scene. 
she brought him back to to like to to Kami. So they they they're both pulling on each other, and maybe it might be the physical thing or just fucking. I don't know, but they're both each other's center. I think that's that's that's, that's the, the 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 main theme okay. of this fucking show right yeah. now. Yeah. So they, they, that's yeah, basically yeah, her game to his game. game. Would you say Gator? My bad. They're balancing each other out. Exactly. Yeah. Would you say uh, ten meters? I'm sorry. I say it was basically her yin to his yang. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. And yeah, yeah, and, and I do agree, Joe. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I watch you beat the shot of your father. Here's some pussy, but <laughs> 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 I, that's kind of. I mean, but but at the same point in time, at the same point in time, it's like. It's either you get the bat, or like, because, like, what, right after, because he went downstairs and was freaking out, like, give me, the, show me the pictures, show me the pictures. And, like, when he's freaking out, they just show her mm-hmm. face talking to him, and we see right. him look down. And she as he bat. walks out She's of the house, she, yeah. got that oh, yeah. she got that bat, right? So it's I don't, like, I don't, know what the, I don't know what that bat would have did. I don't know that what bat. that bat would have did. I, I, was, I, I was thinking the same thing, because he was, because he was real close. She can swing. She can swing that bad hard as she did with them cars, but I but, doubt it had an effect on him. Yeah, but I'm saying, though, the thing is, though, he was right point. next to her. How she don't get that bat up? Yeah. Right. He was in her face. He, he was, the bat he was, is a, he was ready to eat two or three of them. Yeah. yeah. But it, I don't think, but the, the bat is definitely a keep a nigga at distance object. You already in my face, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to do. And you already right. beat one old yeah. ass nigga up. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, that nigga, that little, yeah. That pitch, that pitch is already too deep in the zone, nigga. <laughs> That's already yeah. strike three, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then we also kind of alluded to uh, James calling his shot, so we kind of in early in the show. So also we uh, at the end of episode four, uh, Ruby, uh, uh, fucking uh, the white dude, uh, what's his name? Uh, Wilhelm. William. 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 I keep saying Wilhelm. William. Some, some, some Wilhelm. Nazi soldier, nigga. <laughs> so fucking William. And then we we, ha- we find her waking up to her new uh, 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 her body yeah. or habitus, body. her new habitus. Yeah. But, but did you notice whose body she woke up to? I did. Yes. We talked about a check. Yeah. So wait, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So Roger got that. How did you find? Did you just reflect on it, or did you was, was the nigga that? No, no, I recognized it. You recognize it too? For How me, about you, Roger? Yeah. For me, no. For me, it was I nigga. didn't. For me, it was nigga. I didn't say that first. Hold on, hold on. Let me hear Roger. Go no, ahead. For me, it was nigga net. I ain't gonna lie. It was nigga. It was nigga net. It was a nigga net. Okay, so so Gaddy, you just saw it. Yeah, I saw it, and I was like, oh wait a minute, where's she come from? Because I, so I, I we ain't said it publicly. So who, who is she? She is. Oh, she's the. She was the dog walking from the uh, village. Right. Dog walking from the village. To so episode one, two. One with the whistle. Yep. One with the whistle. Right. Yeah. Yep, yep. So like, like, I, like, I, like I said, she, I said this bitch looked familiar, but I was like, man, eh, uh, she made this another white woman in the show. And then I started, right. you know, I do my, I do my uh, after I watch it like twice, and I do my like, uh, I would go to the blogs and shit. And then somebody was like, if you haven't noticed, this is the the white woman from episode two. And I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> it, I was like, it show the fuck is. Show oh, the God. fuck is. So then that brings into the idea is like, is that a real? Person is she dead? The, the or dog she... walker, yeah. So no, no. Is... The theory is that they're not dead, but they got to okay. use the blood of them to make the magic to make the uh, the trick work. So that's the what they drink, part. their yeah. blood. What you saying? So they got like a stockpile of white people somewhere in the basement. That's what's in the basement. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mm. Yeah, yeah. St- they got a stockpile of white people in the basement. That makes sense. Yep, in the basement. So in the ha- so now we kind of we're going back and forth. In the, Once again, the dungeon this is- of the uh, uh, no 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 yes, no no, no. Of, the, of, the, of the house yes, that house. Ruby wakes oh, up in. Oh, you mean the basement of the house, not the dungeon of the village. The 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 basement of the house. At the right, house, right, remember right, they, right. they bring up yeah. they, they bring up because Ruby makes a point near the end of the episode. Once again, this is not an official show, so we're gonna bounce around. Sorry, y'all. So Ruby makes a point to say there's only one, there's only two two doors locked in this house: the front door and the basement. Right, and I and I see you. Oh, and William. you're not talking about you're not talking about you're not talking about Letty's house. Not Letty's house. No, this, not Letty. This is the house that Ruby wakes up in. Right. She makes a yeah. point to say at the end of the show, there's only two doors in this house that are locked: the front door and the basement. And I see the only time, and I see you and William come out of there at all times of the night. What's in the basement? So you think she then transported? The chick from Salem, from Devon County, 
all the way back to Chicago. to Chicago. But who? But but actually, but who even knows who the fuck that is in Salem County? Right. If you drink the blood, and that's you, I was I was thinking for a second. I don't think it's right though. But we, we I was talked th- about thinking it. for a second. It was Montrose. I don't think that's Montrose. I don't think so no, either. After after a while, because you know what I'm saying, uh, he came out the ground with handcuffs on, mm-hmm. and sh- and she didn't have no handcuffs on. So I I I, I don't I, I don't I, know who the person is that's inhabiting that habitus or pretending to be that woman. But I don't think it's Montrose in C- in episode two. I don't think it's so. Is, is that woman a woman though? That's 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 what I'm trying to figure out. No no no. Go ahead. Go so ahead, the theory is we saw what Letty did to the woman in episode two. Hit right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently she's not dead, but they're using her body to get the blood for the potion. So basically, what okay. Joe said is they picked her limp body up as she had been fucking got a fucking head injury and brought her back, and now she's in the basement in that house that Ruby woke up in. So what basically what yep. Joe was saying? Being harvested. Okay. okay, okay, that that makes more sense than anything to me. Okay, and like, cause then, cause Cause it, when, but but it falls in line to what the police that, guy said, or was she was she not what the police guy said? Was she told? Uh, Ruby about William, that old boy shot right. him, and he thought he died. So that nigga might be in the basement too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Remember yeah, about that's the deal. Uh, yeah. So that make that makes sense. It might just be they just harvesting white people's blood down in the basement, like a goddamn plasma center, so niggas can go get some alcohol. No, no, no. M- remember the uh, the, remember that ghost Hiram? What he was doing with the black bodies? Yeah. Yeah. That's probably what they were doing it for. Oh the, yeah, the, definitely. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I, I, I thought about that too. Because they had the the basketball player that had the baby's head. That's right. the first thing that came to my yeah. mind. Well, more than that, the the police chief in Chicago. Yeah, that has, too. has a black torso. I don't know. Yeah, he looked look like a fucking Frankenstein monster with a shirt that nigga, off. You that nigga took that shirt off, hey. nigga. I was yeah. like, that nigga like Michael Jackson at a Pepsi, a, a fucking uh, Pepsi video shoot, nigga. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, no. Did y'all watch the Brother Academy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, brother, okay. oh, the, yeah. The, the, the big, yeah, the big yeah. nigga. <laughs> big gorilla looking dude. Yeah. Yeah, Luther Hargreaves. Yeah, he was yeah. playing one of those. The nigga that stayed getting drunk every season. Yeah. <laughs> he get fucked up every season, and then he fuck up everything. Anyway. <laughs> no, 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 not, 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 not the ghost dude, but the uh, big, the big That's what I'm saying. dude. The big muscle dude. Yeah, remember, like the first season, he went to the rave and got all fucked yeah. up. And then he the second season, up. he yeah. got all high and shit too. He, I said every every season he got to get every fucked up on something. Fucks up. <laughs> I don't know if he fucks yeah, up, but he got he got to get fucked up every season. He for fucks sure. up, yeah. He <laughs> fucks up on accident. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you talking about. He, so, yeah. He talking about getting drugs. I'm about the other yeah. guy. So we talked right. about the chat group too, though. So, right, we talked about. So they're using like this potion to make you basically like a butterfly. Caterpillar type yeah. shit. So, what's the right. correlation with the nigga in the closet? Well, my theory is that they're using him. We might see him again in another episode with, uh, the, with the, the police chief. The tongueless nigga, yeah, in the closet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, we might see him again with the uh, police captain. Well, yeah, because I, I figured it, it couldn't be done with him because he asked, has he said anything yet? And he's like, the dead, well, the dead always speak or some shit like that. So is a nigga alive? Yeah, he he has, is he a zombie? Oh, I don't fucking know. Right. Now he ain't a zombie. They're using him for something. We're yeah, probably yeah. gonna see him in another episode. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, we we bounce around a lot. Uh, yeah, we're not trying to do a point by point recap here. So yeah, Ruby wakes up, uh, and that's another thing too, though. Like, and like you kind of have to go back to how she was in the uh, episode. Episode three or four when they had the house. That yeah, three when they had the house. How she was talking to people like with more if more she kinda had that like that talented tenth or ten percent shit talk going on. She thought if more black people act like me, blah blah blah, this, this and that. So you gotta kinda think about right. that. How she turned when she got that the power of that white woman, how she got like nigga, she changed real quick. And she was talking Very bad. Oh, she yeah. was talking she was talking real yeah. filthy to that to that black girl. Real filthy. Oh yeah. Now, no, nah, see the thing is when she when she talked to that black girl at the store, she was like, "Oh, you got to be better than me because you got the job." But then when she realized that she wasn't better than her academically, no, no, still got the job. That's that's when her personality really changed. I mean, it really changed though. But it made me think about how she was talking about to the men when they were playing. I don't know, playing dominoes or spades at the table, where she was like, "If more black people thought like me or acted like me, 
things would be better or we would be better. You got, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you got to look at if you look at it from like a step by step or like a, a spectrum. Once she got that white body, she got she and, and she said that she got, she got that privilege and right. access to that currency. She she, 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 left the, she left the money on the table because she had the only currency she needed. No, I get it. I get it. Was her yeah, whiteness? Yeah. I get it. Yeah. But I'm but I'm also saying that it, it also kind of played into how she felt that she was like I'm better than you than some of you Negroes, and if y'all were more like me, we'd be better. That's literally oh, what she was saying at the house party. That's she. That's she feel the same way about Letty, huh? She feel the same way about. Oh Letty. yeah, she feel the same way about Letty, yeah, but but like she made, but like they made a point to make that scene to focus on her. She wasn't talking to Letty. She was talking to, I think, two or three other black men at that table. She feel more, that way in general. Yeah, in that, general, if more ne- if more Negroes felt like me and worked like me and thought like me, we'd be better. Here's my thing, man. It's, the fact that she this, the fact that she chose to be white. That too, and I was like, "Oh, like I thought she was a little bit more blacker than that." You know, what I'm saying like, I don't, I, I, just I, I, yeah. I get like, and I, and, 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 and I don't know. We'll see if she go back to it. I think she may have been just trying it out. I don't think she going well, back to it. I well, think she, I think nope. that, that was her making a decision. I think, I, I think, I think the key distinction was that she at first she didn't choose. She was, she was made to be white first. She right. experienced it and she liked it, and then she made her decision. It's a drug. That, it's a drug. That's what I'm saying. No, why no. did she? Why did she like it? Like because I don't, I th- oh man, because she said she was right. I, I, I thought. I, to, she, she, go ahead, go ahead, Gator. My bad. The way she was, she said the way she was treated. She was like, like then people, like, people actually treated her like a human being. Yeah, I, and she liked it, and that's why she chose to be white because she got different treatment. Than what she was as a black woman, right? right. But to me, we though, get I, the enticement. Ro- Roger said several times on the show that the intoxication of, white of being right. white must be powerful. It must you know be. What I'm saying. No, but, no, but, and, oh yeah. But I'm, I get all that. And you see, if you see that with Ruby, all right. I get all that. I get all. Of, I understand that. But what I'm saying to you, stay black and die. Stay back and die. But I, I, we talked about it on the show too many times. That we, we and we all felt in our lives like, like it's two parts, right? For, for to me, how I took it was, she had this talk where she thought, well, I am better than some of you Negroes, and if only right. I was given an opportunity, people would see how much better I am, right? This, this, and that. And then she thought this black woman who got this job, by the way, a job she never applied for. Which is funny too, right? Because you got you, you kind of got to go back because that wasn't a job That's, she applied. Are you, are you sure she never? She got it because they weren't. Accepted. I think she had applied. No, several she times, wasn't because and then they, she she had applied for, out the ball because Letty was in town. No, no. She and had, then they started hiring, and old girl uh, applied on a whim. But she had. No, we talking about yeah. Hold on, she hadn't applied for that job because they weren't accepting applications from Negroes. They they made oh so they, they didn't accept any okay no it wasn't okay. up until they they started accepting applications Negroes no girl said I applied on a whim when they started accepting applications that she applied so I think to me Ruby thought oh well she must be like me and when old girl was like I ain't got no high school education she said oh well you must have been taking an extra class and she was like oh they do that she got offended because she's like I'm better than you. How can a nigga like you, and we see it in our own community, how can a nigga like you get this job on a whim? And I've been wanting jobs like this and have applied for other jobs similar to this and haven't gotten them. And then right. for her, she got what, 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 what Paul Mooney talk about. She got that nigga wake up call when then white right. women said, it don't matter how good you are. Of course you're, of course you're not qualified. Or of course she's not qualified. She's a nigger. And that's when she was like, oh, well, fuck all of this. That's when she got that new no. wake-up call. She got that wake-up call, and then she got the wake-up call when they went to that bar. That bar, too, yeah. though. And, but, 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 but by then, and she, she was, started, just, but by she then she was disgusted. Like, treated. She was yeah. like, oh, this is definitely some bullshit. But no, but I, th- I think by then, though, she was already disgusted, and the nail in the coffin was when she saw, because they were like, oh, old boy's a goody two-shoes. But then when she saw him out in that motherfucking alleyway, Trying to wait, trying to rape old girl. She was like, mm. "All this shit's a lie." All and this then, shit. And then trying to fire her afterwards. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. One shit, man. Part in the alley was the real wake up call for me. 
Yeah. I, 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 think, I, I, think, I think I think that was a nail in the coffin. I, I, I think it was twofold. Because they, they made a point to focusing on her face when that white woman said, well, of course she's not qualified. She's a nigger. And she was like, right. it, she like her face was like, you can almost see the black woman come out of her even though she was in that white woman's habitus. She was like, right. whoa, 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 what you mean? Because like, here you're talking about, even though she's a white woman now, playing a white woman in this magical, mystical world, she's like, right. bitch, I'm more qualified than you. And let's not forget, though, these are white women who are, quote, unquote, I guess, assistant managers who are putting all their work on this black woman on the floor as mm-hmm. they fucking play and put meat coats on. Meat coats on. Out the basement. Yeah, because yeah, remember, right. Right. remember that, yeah. that black woman was like, well, I got to do this, and I got to do this, and I got to do this, and I got to do that. And then we come to find out after the fact why she got to do all this shit because these white women are in the fucking, the, it, it, behind in the warehouse playing fucking dress up. Dress up. Yeah, basically, right? So you, you, you right. see all this shit, though. It, but as, as, as black folks, we know this is a real thing. We like, like, nigga, I know I've been in jobs where white men and white women are just fucking chilling while niggas are doing all the work. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so it, it's, definitely a, it's definitely a progression for Ruby to see all that shit happening where she gets to change her heart at the end. Yeah. Right. And then, but then the, the bottom line, she's like, and still, though, even though she is second in charge of that store, she mm-hmm. never once takes her anger out on any of these white women. She takes all her anger out on that black woman well, still. Right. Nah, she took her anger out on the white well, man. No, at the end. At the end. But I'm saying in that moment, even though she was second in charge, she could have said, you bitches need to get back to work. Oh, nigga, yeah, man. She, uh, she been tra- I ain't too long to talk back to white people like that, man. I know that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Even yeah. though she had the power and authority, she's in her mind she's still a black woman, and she still went and took it out on a black woman on the floor. But at the end, like correct. At the end, correct. After she saw old boy show his true colors, she did some things. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. and that's what I'm saying. It's a progression for her to do that. What would you say? Again, okay, I didn't hear you. It was a progression for, in her doing that. She yeah. didn't just like she saw each step of the way. And she might have made some mistakes, but she kept going. And then she saw the total picture to where she's like, okay, I know who the problem is. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like it's like Wizard of Oz, nigga. I you you ain't this golden nigga blowing smoke out your nose. You just frail white man behind the curtain. All right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And and and, and, and yeah, and and I shouldn't say I, you know, I I'll take it back. I think she might drink that shit again, but I don't mm-hmm. think it's gonna be for good for anybody. She might be a white woman again, but I don't think it's going to be good for anybody. No. So, the short story in the book was the whole playoff on Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah, that's what I thought about, yeah. And so, if you watch, if, when you watch the episode, they, they show some of the old, some of the scenes from the old Dr. They Jekyll and the Mr. Movie. Hyde. They movie. show the movie, yes, yes, yes. I was watching that shit, yes, <laughs> yes. So, yeah, and, and that's and that's one of the other things about the show, like the details is what the devil is, and it's just like adding more layers and depth to it. Yeah, the details, and then like the soundtrack too. Even though people, I, I've uh, I was watching, uh, I've watched with people and people who have watched it, and like, I don't know if I agree with the modern soundtrack, and I'm like, but it like every scene, as we'll talk about, also yeah. every scene, the music fits it perfectly, bro. Like yeah. it's like uh, even if it's if it's so, Cardi so B. Go ahead, go ahead. And when because you know they uh, they get the title of the episode at the beginning. Yep. Yeah. And it was the comes on. It's like yeah. It's like it's got why, why do you, I was yeah. like, wait a minute, why are you on? Oh, this skill has got hearing. Yeah. Are they gonna put that in this episode? But it's and lo and behold. But it's it started playing it. Like, it's got it's but it's so beautiful though, right? Even like we talked about, even though we talked about <laughs> the episode, it's like it makes sense, like. These white people don't care about you. They don't care about your uncle. They don't care about the woman that you, we find out that you have loved. They just try and get the fucking powers of Adam. 
And like the song right. says, right. fucking white man on the moon, but my sister can't pay her bills and all this other shit and everything. We got, we can't, we can't, ain't no lights on, ain't no heat on, but we got whitey on the moon. Because white folks don't mm-hmm. care right. about you. They don't Nigga, care. They, the they had, they had tick hooked up like a fucking battery. Like a fucking battery. Right. We don't care about you, nigga. nigga don't yeah, it, it was, a, it's about. It's about using these people, these black people, to get whatever it is their objective is across, i.e. watching, getting entertained at a fucking Chiefs game. While you motherfuckers talking about uh, unity, we going to boo this shit because we just want you to shut up and dribble. You know what I'm saying? Why the moon? Hey, <laughs> shut up and tackle. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 yeah, and, sh- and, sh- and shout out to Raphael Sadiq for the music supervision because he's the one that's been putting them songs on. Oh, I ain't know that. Mm. Straight that's up. That's what's up. I mean, that, mm-hmm. that, that makes sense, though. That nigga's a fucking genius. I love all yes. that album. But, like, it, but like, but like, like it, might make, it might not... Like song for song may not be the best song, the best soundtrack, but every song when they play it, it makes fucking it, sense in it that gets fucking the moment. Episode. Yeah. Oh, uh, episode three when they started playing the gospel music. Yeah. Yeah. When, when, yeah. when Lady started busting out the windows, they started playing uh, uh, one of the Clark sisters. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, when it was doing the seance in the end, she was calling all the ghosts. They was playing. Uh, I still Shirley Caesar. I still say that uh, 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 Joe and the, the, the Reign of Terror needs to come together and loop somehow loop uh, Atticus saying, get out my house, bitch. Get out my house, bitch. And, 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 and make that a motherfucking, and make that a hook, nigga. <laughs> they got to do it. Hey, dog, I, I, could, I would tackle a nigga to this day if I had that in my headphones, like playing nonstop. Hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. Give, give me the sample. I'll fuck with it. <laughs> I, I will play it back. I, I, will, I will try. Record, I will, record it. I got a str- I, got, I will, I will oh, find oh, a way. Oh. I will. I will uh, quote unquote rent an ep- rip that episode and rip the fucking audio. And yes, get out my. You know what I'm talking about uh, Gator. That nigga's like, get out my house, yeah. bitch. We got possessed. We got possessed. Yeah. 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 I love. I was like, ooh. The first thing I thought about that'd be a nice little hook. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, uh, we we back. We back here. We, as I said, we bounce around yeah. because once again, though, you every episode just interconnects with every episode. It's, it's just it's it's, it's crazy. Uh, so where were we? Yeah. What you say? What were we saying? Thought somebody was saying something. Oh man. Anyway, so back to episode five. Um, so we talk about Ruby. Uh, talking about the intoxication. We talk about also. We already talked about At- uh, Atticus and uh, the Tish- Lita. Letitia, Let, Letty, Letty, Letty Letitia, Le, aka Letty, Letty. Um, yeah. But also, um, we come to find out that, uh, and also it kind of adds to the fact where they've been kind of hitting around that Montrose's dad may not be Montrose's dad because he may not. No, like Atticus. 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 Mm-hmm. And Montrose's dad may not be at uh, Tick's dad. Montrose, Montrose may not be Tick's dad. Right. Might not be. Tick's dad because he may or may not like vagina that much to ejaculate in it. Right. Yeah. So we have, we already talked about Tick beating up Montrose and he goes away for a while and all that shit that we covered. The next time we see Montrose is when he shows up at uh, the bar owner's house. I can't remember his name. Mm-hmm. You remember his we'll name? Uh, we'll figure it out later, I'm sure. Yeah, man. Anyway. The light skinned dude who's getting his dick sucked in episode one. <laughs> there right. we go. He, he, ain't, he ain't going nowhere. We'll find him again. He ain't going nowhere. He shows up. Uh, he says, Was it the uh, the O phase or the niggas? O phase or the niggas? Or the niggas. Montrose don't say nothing. And much like a much like a booty call, I don't know if uh-huh. anybody had a booty call. We ain't here to talk. We're here to fuck. Montrose steps into the room. With his eye, he look, he kind of looked like Martin. He kind of like Martin in that episode where he got beat up by uh, Tommy, <laughs> by Tommy, Tommy, Tommy the Hitman, by Tommy Hearns. the Hitman, with Tommy the Hitman yeah. Hearns uppercut uppercutted uh, Martin into the fucking wall. That's what he looked you like. Know, kinda. I want to go home. I want to go home. home. I won't fight no more. What, what he call? What he call Tommy? He said you look like the Get Hit Man. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, nigga, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, I had to pause. I said, damn, they get the same uh, makeup artist for this scene. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, no word said. So you you kind of know, or you should know, that this ain't the first time he's been here. Ain't the first time they did this. Starts right. on buckling his pants. Hey, dog, uh, the amount of spit this nigga put on his yeah. hand. 
<laughs> God damn. I said on Twitter too. I this said, about to be I, sad. I right. said, this nigga throw up in his hand or spit in his hand? Because that was a lot of spit. That was a spit. lot of spit, dog. That was a snot rocket. Huh? What you say? That was a snot. That was a snot bubble, nigga. That that was uh, that was a Joe Jeff level uh, <laughs> snot that, bubble on that, that nigga's hand. That's spitting, huh? <laughs> so, Joe so old boy bends over. They begin to fucking... Uh, he kind of tries to uh, kiss uh, Matros. And this we also kind of yeah. you kind you kind of get an idea like they ain't never kissed. Instead of kissing, uh, Matros decides I'm gonna suck your dick, and mm-hmm. that's the scene. And yeah, there we go. And then we kind of go back. We kind of flash forward. They go forward, and uh, they kind of come to. He's in the scene with all these other uh, drag queens. And they're all kind of talking, and that's where we kind of know, oh, hey, I ever had, had y'all, they talk about how you had your first kiss yet, and Montrose is just sitting there, and he's kind of sipping on his little uh, flask, whatever the fuck. Right. Yep. Yep. And I think as, uh, uh, I think in our chat group, as Joe said, Omar gone Omar, which pays <laughs> pays <laughs> pays homage to the fact that, uh, uh, damn, I always forget his name, the uh, actor. Uh, Michael, Michael, K. Williams. Michael K. Williams. Michael K. Williams, yes. uh, who played Omar in The Wire, who was a Robin Hood type character who also was uh, gay. So yeah, yeah, so shout out to Joe for saying Omar <laughs> going Omar. Um, yes, but yeah, yeah, and uh, we talked about also uh, in episode four when they went to the museum. The man named Tree kind of alluded to the fact of. Why do you think your dad is so popular at this bar? I can't. He said the owner's name. I can't remember his name. Mm-hmm. Said why is your dad kind of so? Something to that fact where I started thinking like, hmm, what is really going on? And it made me go back to episode one, where we right. the first time we see the bar owner is he's getting his uh, dick sucked by another man. All right. So so three he, works at the bar, so he, he know he so know yeah. how Montrose get down. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so I didn't even think about that until you said like, "Well, he knows." Well, I, I just I just went back and rewatched episode one yesterday. So yeah, he he know, you know what I'm saying. But then also, Tree is a liar because <laughs> he said he had been fucking uh, the Letty all this time, or they they, they used to tussle right. in high school. Right, but, you know, it, well he, you know, she called him out for lying on the yeah day. episode five. So, she I did mean, call him out. <laughs> so I don't know, man. We ain't seen him with no girl yet. Who uh, Tree? Yeah. We got Tree. We ain't seen. We ain't. He said a Philly and Philly. Yeah, that's what he say. Yeah. We ain't seen him, nigga. He went to Boston, nigga. Boston passed Philly. Right. Yeah. That is true. I don't, I don't know, 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 bro. That's true. You know what they call me Tree though, right? Most men got two legs. I got Tree. <laughs> Hey nigga, I I fucking die laughing when that nigga. I said I've had to say that shit somebody one time before I die, nigga. <laughs> and, and, but Letty, but Letty had to smoke for him though. Oh yeah, she should did not, have smoke. Should not know that since we fucked back in high school. Man, that <laughs> lying nigga, ass. That nigga was like, <laughs> but like it makes a point though. Like, is he? Yeah, I guess is he covering for something? Is old boy who uh, owns the bar? Is it kind of like a a safe place at that, especially at that point in time in history? Yeah, a safe place. For homosexual men, who knows? Who knows? I mean, you know, as the story goes on, we we will find out because every episode opens up a whole bunch of shit every time, yeah. and that makes you go back and look at other shit. I was talking to my homegirl. I was like, we get our questions answered, only to come up with new questions. New questions. Right. New questions. Um, but even though, though, like, I, I think it, so, we bounced around, but like. They end up going to a uh, what do they call that? What do you call that? Uh, ballroom scene, huh? A ballroom scene. A ballroom scene. Yeah, where a bunch of drag queens and men there, who, men and women who are not you know dressed up, but a lot of men who are dressed up in drag. And I'm 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 kind of interested to see what that brings out. For Montrose, because this is kind of like a coming out for him. Because, like, once again, he's never kissed this man in public. Um, even when he's around other, uh, in the presence of other drag queens, he's never, like, he doesn't even, like, kind of recognize him or kind of, not recognize him, but kind of like speaks to him or everything. But also, he got his ass whipped by his son, too, not too long ago. Right. So maybe that might be into it. But it's kind of like they make it a point they got, um, 
he's at this ballroom the drag queens hoist him up and it's kind of like this like he's being it, you can see like he's in his face and his eyes he's free and it's the first time he kisses his drag queen so i, I mean right. i'm kind of interested to see what that brings out for him is it good for atticus in his quest to discover all this hidden shit or is it bad we'll we shall see we shall see yeah because the other thing is that what we know, what I noticed with Mantra is that a lot of things that he's done was in the idea of to protect Montrose, mm-hmm. but it's also to control Montrose. Mm-hmm. What you said? You said who did what now? Well, it's, it's Montrose trying to protect Atticus, but it's really Montrose controlling Atticus. Because mm-hmm. Montrose doesn't want him on his journey. But Atticus is still doing it regardless. Yep. All right. Well, yeah, he's trying to control him under the guise of protecting him. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. So I mean, but 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 also that plays a part in too is like controlling con- protecting him under the guise of, controlling him under the guise of protection, and then we also get this this kind of play on he's been controlling himself. In front of his own adult son, trying to protect who he is as a man, quote unquote, as a man, as far as like I'm a gay man, or we, I guess right. we it, assume that he's gay. My fact, from you know whatever. It, it, but when you go back to episode two and the conversation he had with George, George is like, "Why'd you stop drawing?" And Montrose is like, "Because Dad beat it out of me." Beat it out of me, yeah. Yeah, because you know Montrose is going down to the. You know, he used to go down to the uh, train station see all the Negro League baseball players coming for spring training, and you'd have your pictures. Montrose is like, yeah, Dad called me one day and just beat me out of it when I was, like, 14 years old. So, I guess when they, talk about that, when they talk about that generational trauma, apparently Montrose and George's dad saw Montrose being a little sweet at an early age. He's like, no, nah, I can't have that in my house. And as in a way of love for Montrose, tried to beat him out of it. And what Montrose learned is what he transferred to Atticus while raising them up. Hmm. I never thought about that, but that is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's 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 pretty much how that went down. Because he was down at the baseball field, and I don't know what he did, but his dad saw it and then tried to beat it out of him. So yeah, a history of a history of violence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So definitely, yep. definitely trying to. Uh, yeah, definitely interested to in see that. You know that the the, the, the showrunner showing us the, this epiphany and no questions asked about what Montrose likes and prefers and yeah so yeah yeah definitely see how that takes a turn for 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 this journey and, 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 and we see Atticus realizing that I can't be like my dad because although Atticus doesn't realize where it's coming from he knows that is he's not trying to do the same thing yeah. as far as his dad is concerned. Yeah, that, that simple line that he told to uh, Letty, like, I don't, I, you know, I don't want you to be scared of me. It's like, it's like that, that, right. shit, that shit, that shit hit, dog. Like, because I've been, I've been in fear of my dad my whole life. That's why I, I, I left. I, I fucking had to go away. Or quote unquote my dad, because I, I, I'm still on the assumption that it ain't his dad, but whatever. We'll see. <laughs> oh, no, George already admit that's not his dad. Yeah. George, George like, that might be mine. <laughs> that might, it was George like, yeah, but yeah, that might be mine, but also, like, yeah, he's literally. Having a this confessional with this dead woman, who's not his wife, when they were at that house. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, what the fuck is going on? You know, off top in episode two, what the fuck is going on? But it was another. Listen, it's another to add to that. The bathtub scene. Atticus is like, I never had a healthy example of a broken relationship. Nope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, it's beautiful, man. It's like black love, black trauma, and people trying to fix themselves. Trying to be better but not knowing how to get better, man. It's definitely right. a beautiful show. Um, yeah. And then we uh, kind of we we'll just fast forward to the end. Hey, 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 hey! I just watched uh, rewatched the scene in the museum where Tree was talking to uh, Tick, and basically what he said was, "Hey, you still? Ma- I know what this is about. You still mad because I sent you all back at Sammy's uh, spot at the bar in episode one?" Tick says. That's uh that's Sammy's business, and Tree says to uh, him, "Are you sure that's not yours?" Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, there we go. But then they also make it a point to show the male security guard, and then Tree's like, "Well, how do you know him?" 
Yeah, and 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 uh, Montrose said that you know at the bar, and then just kind of blew it off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. No, no, no. That's because because Tree know because Tree know because Tree works at the bar. No, 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 no. The security the security guard at the museum, they're in Boston. The security guard at the museum is in the same uh, fraternal order uh, Masons with Montrose. Prince Hall, Prince Hall Masons. Yeah, because Montrose. Where you, says, where, yeah, you where you get that from? Montrose said it. No, he didn't. He said that he saw him at the bar. Mm-hmm. No. The yeah. only reason we know about Pence Hall Masons is because <laughs> uh, George said it in episode two. Yeah, but Montrose, Montrose said, said that about that. We don't. We don't even know that Montrose is in Prince Hall. And we don't learn about the lodges until episode three, when he when he kind of fucks up and says there are thirty three or thirty four lodges. Yeah. Well, there you go. So there's that. Now he did say that. But but that was after the fact though. But now that, but he, that, was, yeah. that, was, that was before they that was before they went on that journey. Actually, my bad. I'm that was sorry. before, and it's like, how you know yeah. how many uh, lodges there is? And he says, I don't. But what I'm saying to you is, Montrose ain't never said nothing about being Prince Hall. He ain't never said nothing about being. That's the only thing he probably let slip. And I took that as he had read the book. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you might. It, it might be the, the Masonic connection. But he did never say that he met that security guard through masonry. He said he met that security guard at the bar. I have to rewatch it. Yeah, and all, all the I remember is that Tree said that shit, and then they made a point to look at the at the security guard, and that's when that's when the uh, tick was kind of like, how the fuck you know him? But you can already tell that that wheel was spinning like, what the hell is really going on? Because now he's met with the vision of the guy you know from the bar was getting his dick sucked the last time I met him or saw him. Right. <coughs> but I, Tree, I, I, Tree know about Montrose. Tree works at the bar. He works at Sammy's bar. No, 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 no. I, and, I get it. And, and Montrose is a regular. He knows. No, no, I get it. But I'm saying, as far as Tick though, he put that he put that that seed in him. And that's when Tick was like, "Well, how you know that man?" And that's right. when Montrose was like, "I didn't know him from the bar." But then that now like it makes you call back to like what you know that bar must be safe spot. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever the fuck. But we, we, whatever, it's it's all gonna flesh out. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna say I do remember. I, yeah, I, I don't know if only I remember about them saying anything about the Mason, being uh, the Masons or Lodges was when he kind of like let it stumble out there, thirty four, thirty three, thirty four Lodges, and then they were like, "Well, how the fuck you know that?" And he was like, "Uh, mm-hmm. what? <laughs> I said that." No, no. <laughs> so when, when Montrose said about the thirty thirty four Lodges, he's talking about thirty four Lodges of the Sons of Adam, not the Freemasons. So. Right, 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 right. But but I think that kind of builds you like you know more than what you let know. Right. He, he, he's Maybe talking about like. I, he made it sound like I don't know shit. Uh, Goose chase for answers that you already know to uh, figure out questions you already know the answers to. Right, right, right. So I think that's more of a thing. Like he been like playing like I don't really know nothing at all, and he's like, wait a minute, nigga, you talking about specific numbers, nigga? How you know that, huh? I was right. drunk. I was drunk, nigga. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I was partying. Now, <laughs> now I'm gonna say this though. I'm I'm, I'm gonna call this out right now. So in one of the short stories. It focuses on George's wife, Hippolyta. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and that Ori. Uh, if you, if you, if you, if I remember, Wonder Woman's name is Diana, and her mom's name is Hippolyta. See, Gator, Dude, you late, nigga. We did that last Gator, week. You, should, you, you need to listen to the episode, you listen to bro. The shows, Gator. <laughs> you listen to the shows. We, we talked about the Hippolyta and Diana and. And then, like, there was visions of her being. Uh, we don't know what we don't know what episodes gonna come into play, but her being dressed like an Amazon or some shit like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the Ori, the Ori does do time, time travel and uh, spaceship. Damn. So they're gonna go back in time. Yeah, and we talked about it like like we, you're being set up because you talk about the sons of Adam, and we're thinking about it's all about the men, where. A lot of it is being passed down through the women. The women, you know, what I'm saying, because we get these flashes of when the house is burning, you see a black woman, and then right. it's more yep. like the power is, is is lying more within the women. They even see it where uh, I always get her name, the Wayne wife woman, the white woman, or who might be Christina, a Christina, yeah, Christina, Christina, where she talks about you know the don't when she's talking to Letty about. You know, don't let the men basically take away from you. I don't remember what she said, but basically, it's not the men that have all the power. So, like, right. that's like this subtle thing that's being played out throughout the throughout this the, the, this show. Yep, yep. We we own it, chief. We own it. 
<laughs> but no, nah, that's good shit though. That is good shit. That is a uh, yeah. Yeah. We we pay attention. Yes, sir. Everybody pay attention. Um so the big thing is so you you, you thought that find out that Montrose knows how to bring his own KY jelly was a big thing. You come to find out that uh William and Christina are the same motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, Ruby, yeah. At the, uh, actually, though, so big thing, so big thing. So uh, we 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 talked about it. Ruby uh, find out her boss is a piece of shit. Right. Um, seeing that he's about to try to uh, rape his black woman and then try to fire her and call her a nigger bitch. Uh, man, that was that was real bad too. You won't let me rape you, you fucking nigger bitch. Like goddamn, you gotta be racist and a rapist, <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, and once again, what would you say? Yeah, just trade the P for the C. C P for color people, just trade the C for the P. There you we got go. racist and racist. Man. There we go. <laughs> so once again, shout out to uh I I didn't realize it was Raphael Sadiq. Shout out to the music selection. Hit that uh card to be uh yep. red bottoms. These <laughs> um, red yeah. bottoms, these and bloody shoes. Um she uh Goes about her way to let her uh, employer know that not only I'm leaving, but the reason why. So Ruby, she's now in the form of this white woman. I'm leaving, and the reason why I have to leave is because I want you and I desire you. And once you fire me, I can fuck you. Uh, of course, like any dummy, he says yes. I'm gonna. And goddamn, uh, not the white woman. I need more. I, I hope they bring more Ruby because Ruby is. Ooh, shit. That's a. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Wait, wait till you hear talking real. What'd you say? What'd you say? Wait till you hear you talking real. Life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, girl. Come through. Come through. Anyway, uh, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. I'll submit to you. She's tying them up and all this shit. Uh, she has not taken her uh dose of uh cracker, cracker of veal. So we know she knows that the uh the time is uh, right, uh, uh coming. So she's timed it perfectly, yeah. I guess, for this scene. So as she's tying him up, putting him down on the floor, and he think he about to get that booty, he don't know that he about to give up that booty. Uh, she begins to make the transformation back to her form as Ruby, the uh, very voluptuous black woman that she is, mm-hmm. and which is extremely gross, by the way. They make they, they make a point to make it gross too. The, the, the bone popping and all this shit right. and hand sliding and all this shit. Skin just it, dripping it, off it, a motherfucker. It's it's just... Yep, yep. And that, then that shit nasty as fuck. And then uh you go back uh before the stilettos when the white women were partying and having a good time that they said that she should wear, she has brought them to the party too. Um uh, mm-hmm. Now this white man's down the floor with his ass cheeks exposed. I don't know how he thought he was gonna get some pussy with his ass cheeks exposed, exposed on the floor with his dick in the ground. Hey, each his own. Um, she decides to let him know. Not only am I a nigger, but I'm also <laughs> going to butt rape you <laughs> with some stiletto shoes, and not in a nice way. I don't know yeah. how she was hitting booty hole, cause she was just a stabbing. <laughs> so I don't know if she was hitting scrotum, a booty hole, or, or, or <laughs> butt cheeks, but them stilettos was getting in she, there she, and going to work. She might have made, made a new hey, home. Man. Man. Like the difference. She might have made a new home. And I ain't gonna lie, I think uh no, I know I don't think. I was drinking, so I missed I I think I went to the <laughs> blinked off or looking at my phone. So I missed the scene at first when this motherfucker uh was trying to rate that black woman. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn. Damn, why is she doing this to this white man? Just because he hired this bla- other black woman? And then I was like, oh, I had to rewind. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, he, he deserved that shit. <laughs> I was like, god damn, this might, be a, this might be a bit over the top to sodomize this white man with a black stiletto just because he hired another black woman. Anyway, in the background. What'd you say? Cardi B playing in the background. Hey, that's, hey, shot that. This is red bottom, these are bloody shoes. As she is plunging a stiletto into a motherfucker's butthole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, she just, 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 just 
all all kinds of wrong. So it, then, in the end, she makes that full transformation back to Ruby. Her f- other the, the stiletto that ain't hanging out this motherfucker's butthole is still on and on this motherfucker's neck. And she talking about, I want you to know that this nigga bitch did, that the nigga bitch did this to you. Yeah. So there we go. So I, 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 that's why I think like down the line that she gonna sip that that juice that gin and juice one more time and be a white woman to fuck somebody up. But we shall see. We shall see. Um, Is she the fuck somebody up or she gotta do something for Christina? That too. Well, and, and, and that's the, that's the other thing I'm missing because Christina said you missed the point. You're not supposed to go to back and just be white or whatever. Being you white gives you permission to do whatever it is the fuck you want to do. Yep, that's why. So I mean. that after he after she told her that, that's when she went back and, and angry raped the manager. So I wouldn't be surprised if she doesn't take that advice that she can do whatever the fuck she want to do, and that be the impetus for taking the, the drink again. Yep. It might be the fuck with that uh, police officer that we know, Christina. Don't give a fuck about cause, cause she cause he shot old boy. Now y'all. Anyway. Uh and so then this comes to our other like I said, our other reveal is that Christina and William are the same motherfucker and that there's something in that basement that we were talking about earlier. Uh Ruby Ruby comes back to the and, and once again though, like she drug that White woman cocoon all the way back to the house, threw it on the carpet, and mm-hmm. sat there on the couch bloody, and waited Chilling. for and waited for what she thought was going to be William to come home. Well, I guess at first it was William, uh, and then as she began to talk to William, much like a husband that then came home from a hard days of work and ain't got time for the issues of you and the kids, William was trying to get to the basement. And she kept talking, and he just fell down. And he just fell down on the floor. And we come to find out that William is actually Christina. Yep. Finkel is Einhorn. Wait, what? Einhorn, Einhorn is Finkel. Einhorn is Finkel. Yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> what'd you say? Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is Finkel. <laughs> 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 Little Ace Ventura reference for you. Ace Ventura reference right there. With the the laces in or out, we will never know. Anyway. There it is. (laughs) (laughs) So once again, man, just just, a beautiful show. Every episode is, like, once again, you got to think. You got to think. You got to watch. Like like I, I said, I literally looked down at my phone for 10 seconds and missed the scene where that white dude was trying to rape the black woman. And next thing I know, the white dude is getting fucking butt fucked by a stiletto, and I'm like, okay, I think this might not be, this might be a little over the top. And then when I rewound it, I was like, I'll allow it. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he was about to rape that black woman in that alley. So I was like, I'll allow it. <laughs> this, he had it coming to him. He had it coming to him, because I'm sure it's not the first time he decided to Go down to the north side of Chicago and try to uh, uh, south side of Chicago and try to uh, rape a black woman. I am pretty fucking sure of it because you just don't wake up one day and say, you know what? It's about five o'clock. I'm about to go rape some bitches. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. We have we have I- I- any alibis? Anything you might want to as far as uh, the show? Any any any. Call your shot moments for the next episode. Shall we? Start? Go ahead, Gator man. Call your shot. What's gonna happen? Uh, we're gonna find out a little bit more about taking this little Asian boo. Yes. Because yeah. I went back so, to episode one and he called. He called um, her to Korea. Mm-hmm. Korea, yeah, and South Korea, and and basically didn't talk. But she was like. You should have never left. You should have never, never left. left South Korea. And I was like, ooh. Oh, oh my that's bad. as fuck. Oh, my bad. I fucked up. So the episode, because like he kind of alludes to it throughout the episode. This is kind of like uh, Chinese. Do you say Chinese or Japanese hieroglyphics? I can't remember. Korean. 
Korean hieroglyphics, my bad. Uh, hieroglyphics, and uh, he kind of talks no, about I that. Said, I thought he said Chinese. I thought he said Chinese. About, uh, the, the, book of, uh, the book of names or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said Chinese. He said Chinese, he said Chinese hieroglyphics, yeah. So, he, so we kind of had this thing where he him and uh, Letty are going through it, and he's looking at the pictures she's took, and he's trying to cipher all this shit because, like, you know, they allude he's a reader, and he's a very smart man, and we talked about it when we Blood did nerds, you. Man, Blood nerds, man. nerds. What would you say? Black nerds. Black nerds. Black nerds. Ha ha ha. We're going to save the world. Um, and the whole time he's like trying to decipher all this shit. And then after Ruby finds out the uh, the, the gender, the actual gender reveal for William, uh, mm-hmm. he, we come back to a uh, tick uh, in this, in back at the house, chilling and deciphering all this shit. He got all his papers and writings, and I think the last page we see at the bottom of the page it says "die." Correct. Yeah. It says "die," and then he kind of, he's like shook. He shooketh, and he, you see him like, once again, love the fact that I can't remember the love of my. Uh, my children's phone number off the top of my head, but it's in my cell phone. If I just go to my third favorite or fourth mm-hmm. favorite or fifth favorite, that's their number. This nigga dialed a whole international phone number. Hey, which <laughs> one's, memory. Which, one, which one's your third favorite? Well, I, I got it. It's not my third or fourth favorite. You can't just nigga, put them all which one. one's your fifth favorite, bro? All of them. The third one, all, all of them. The second one, all of them. The fourth. So who's, one, who's, who's putting your phone as your third favorite? I'm not gonna say this on the air, sir. You can't. I'm not. I'm not. I just, I just know the, the limits of technology. I have to show oh, one, shit. two, three, four. There we go. <laughs> Joe, you would not do this to me, sir. Hey, no. But you, you did, rec- you did recognize that old girl that he left in Korea is the same Marsha chick from the first episode, right? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. Pause. What? Hold up. The the alien that flies from the. To, the Mar- okay, I remember the Martian, mm-hmm. and she, she's the same as who? That's the girl of Korea. Yeah. How do we know that? How do we know that? They look. You just look at her. Look at her. When did you, when did you see the girl in Korea? Did I miss that? In the in so, the episode. In the preview. first episode, she's the Martian chick. In the second yeah. episode, she's the one that came out of uh, right, out right, of right. Jumped out of the clouds yeah. trying to kill him. Yeah. Yep. And when, then in the preview for this coming episode. Yeah. Okay, that, that's my bad. I, I haven't paid attention to preview yet. Yeah. Okay. okay. But she, okay. but yeah, but she definitely is the one that he's fighting in the the Wayne Wright house or whatever the fuck. All right, so I'm calling my shot. He got a he got a Korean kid. Mm. Maybe. All I know is okay. maybe he got back child support. If that's the case, and that's the reason why he should went home. All right. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say she's part of another large international. Ah. But but I, I don't the yeah I, I I believe that yeah that, that they are definitely part of the sons of Adam because they keep he keeps he made a, a basic point to say it's like Chinese hieroglyphics and from that he was able to decipher that language in which it made him call her immediately and she was like yeah nigga I told you <laughs> and click click right. the other thing is he found out he figured out wait wait wait, wait 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 hold on I missed that when did he call her. After reading, after reading the book, at the end of the episode, that's what we're left. We're, we're left to assume that's who he called, because he called the international yeah. number. Oh, he called that no, that long ass number again. Yeah. So, it, so yeah. It, it Ooh, make, I gotta go back. I gotta go back and check that out. And he's like, like, "How did you know?" Yep. So you show the page. Yeah, you show the. It show the page. All that shit, and the only English words we see are D I E. So, die or maybe that's a, die or her name or her name or a fucking acronym. Who knows? But like like Gator just said, the first the only thing he said with her was he's like and he shook. You can tell that nigga like he ain't happy. He's like, how'd you know? You know, and like I don't remember. I don't, did she say anything or she just hang up? I don't remember. She. I know she hangs up, but basically, yeah, uh, she know what the fuck's going on. Mm-hmm. And let's find out that. So we also find out his middle name is his great grandfather's name. Ooh. And his great grandfather was the offspring of the slave. And so, so great grandfather on his mother's side. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's a, a white man. His, his middle name is is one of the white, one of the Braithwaite family's names. Kind of. His middle name is Samson. But that that ghost Samson. that he saw in that place, that was pregnant. Yeah. She that was, was pregnant with his grandfather. The one. That, okay, so the one so, so the, the baby in 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 uh, the slave woman's mm-hmm. that was Titus Braithwaite's slave that escaped the building. And showed him the way to escape the building. In her, she was carrying Samson. Yes. And so he is named middle name for for that child. Okay. That child. Okay. Yeah. okay. It's so much okay. to the show. Like I swear to God, if you blink for a second, like I said, I literally looked. My phone said, voop, voop, voop. I looked down at it and I missed it. I missed that five second dialogue of that motherfucker trying to rape that woman. Next thing I know, he got a fucking shoe in his butt. Man, I, I watch every episode two or three times just because I miss some shit. Yeah, no, I watch every, yeah, I'm saying, like, Joe, I watch every episode, and, like, sometimes after this, when we, like, when we did that last episode, we just covered all four episodes. Um, yeah, I went back and watched, like, bits and shit of each episode, and they were like, well, this happened, that happened. And I was like, are y'all sure? And I was like, yeah, this nigga's all right. Yeah, okay, yeah. I had to go back and listen yeah. to it again, yeah. And I just I just rewatched that part we got through asking about just FYI. So Tree planted the the, the idea in his mind that Montross might have had something to do with Sammy, and so mm-hmm. then Tick asked where he knew the guard from, and Montross basically said no, it's from, it's from a bar, and and blew it off. Yep. But I think I think now, in the in the context of everything, and knowing that Tree planted that seed in his mind, I think he was inquiring. Where he knew that guard from because he's like, mm. that's what I'm saying. Like, he might be out there on that end. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's, I, what, I, that's what I was I, saying. I, it, it, I didn't think about anything the first time I heard it, the second time I saw it, the third time I saw it, but now that I bring it up, yeah. That's that's what he was doing. Oh, he, nigga, was, he was checking to see. For me, it was it was the WeeBay gift, nigga. I went back to episode one to, oh, I forget his name now, <laughs> to, to that nigga getting his dick sucked in the alley. I was like, Samson. Yeah, Sam, Sam, hey, I'm going to talk to Samson. Sam, hey, nigga, I was like, WeeBay gift, like, holy shit, these niggas is, these, nigga, what the fuck is really going on, nigga? Right. I think it's, hey. it's, it's Samson or Samuel. I think it's Samuel. Someone wanted to. Uh, this, this, this whole Samuel's thing. This whole show is a wee bay gift, nigga. This whole show, wee bay gift, dog. Wee bay gift, the whole show, nigga. Like you just like, what the fuck just happened? You just lean back and just turn. It's just 360 as you find out your man is 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 snitching. What, what happened? What happened if wee bay is a character in episode six? Wow, oh, nigga. I'm like, nigga, my head, my nigga. Y'all like, where Roger at? This nigga head didn't explode. He on his couch dead. Nigga. <laughs> man, they got everybody from my couch. Ooh, wow. Oh man, I think I think we didn't talk that episode five. Yep, we good, we good. It's about that time for everybody. Cause I got I know these kids don't get up in like four hours, nigga. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm hungry. I want some breakfast, nigga. It is six in the morning. I believe the points have been made. Yes, points have been made. Everyone has discussed everything. Hey, appreciate you getting on, Gator. Uh, sorry for keeping. Hey, I appreciate so y'all bro. having me on. Yes, sir. We got it. We, we will do it again. Uh, 10 meters, Casey Stewart, Joe uh, Jeff, half of the Buzz of Doom in the house. Triple B Podcast, Buzz Breaking Bread. Y'all know what it yeah. is. Never yeah. ever, ever miss a moment to break bread with your brothers. We out. Break bread with your brothers whenever possible.